Hello friends, my name is Amit but welcome to Cisco ASA video series. If you do not subscribe my channel, please do subscribe. At the end of the video, if you like my video, please like and share my video. And uh, in this video, this is my second video regarding ASA video series. And in this video, I will explain you configuring the transparent firewall and its benefits. Uh, let's begin. Here is our topology. Let me tell you first, there are two different firewall modes. One is router firewall mode and second is transparent firewall mode. In routed mode, the ASA is considered to be a router hub in the network. Each interface that you want to route between is on different subnet. You can share layer 3 interface between contests in a router firewall mode. But in transparent firewall mode, on the other hand, is a layer 2 firewall that acts like a bump in the wire and is not seen as a router hop to connected devices. So that can prevent for hackers to hack our system from inside uh, in network to enter. One more big advantage of ASA firewall is a transparent firewall. It's transparent means that it is seen as a L2 devices. Its major advantage is that you can insert a transparent firewall into a network without making any IP address changes on the other devices. Uh, let's start do configuring our lab. Here is our lab. Open ASA console. Check the firewall mode. show firewall right now it is router mode now change to transparent firewall transparent now verify now now it's set to transparent mode before starting we need to set ip address of same subnet of inside and outside to create bridge virtual interface bvi so interface bvi 1 1 is the bridge group name now set ip address Now both inside and outside interface make the member of this group. Interface is 0. The bridge group is 1. Name is side. Now the outside interface, it interface Ethernet one. Bridge group is one. Name if is outside. Now we verify our configuration. I show run interface is zero. Here interface is zero is right now shut down. So zero, no shut, and as well as on it one interface it one no shut, and exit.
now we set the same IP address on router 1 as well interface ethernet 0 slash 0 IP address is 10.0.0.1 uh, 255.255.255 uh, no shit now we go to router 2 which is an outside interface interface ethernet 0 slash 0 with save subnet, uh, subnet mask IP address 10.0.0.3 and 255.255.255 with a subnet mask of 24 and no shit Now we verify our configuration uh, using ping command to ping the outside interface. See what happened. As you see here, it's not able to ping to the router 2. And now I will show you on router 2, I will ping to the uh, BVI bridge virtual interface of ASA it is successfully pinging now I will go to router 1 and ping to the ASA bridge virtual interface IP 10.0.0.2 .0 .0 is successfully pinging now now this point I will show you how to edit a default policy map to inspect the ICMP packet so that router 1 can able to allow router 2 in transparent mode there is no difference uh, between the packet filtering and uh, inspecting packets show run policy map here is a policy map now I edit uh, this policy map to inspect the ICMP packet policy map and this default global policy I want to edit this policy map there is a class of inspection default and now we have to inspect the ICMP packet show run policy map here you see now inspect the ICMP packet as well now I go to router 1 and ping to router 2 is now router 2 is able to give echo reply message back to router 1 uh, now the ASA is allowing router 2 to send echo reply message to router 1 back so now you check this here successfully done I am able to uh, receive the echo reply message from router 2 so if you like my video please hit the like button share this video if you do not subscribe my channel please do subscribe thanks for viewing